Aggregate queries allow access to do some kind of calculation based on the figures that are held in the different fields in a database. So to do aggregate queries, to take an example, let's say I've got a categories table and I've got a films table, and it's a one-to-many relationship. I want to get access to count how many different films are in a particular category, and just give me that one overall figure. Now, if I just wanted to put in a criteria based on the category, I could easily just put in STR category, which is the actual name field, and then I could put in int film ID to show me all the different uh, films that are associated with a particular category. And to narrow down the category that I want, I can just put in the criteria of, well, one of the category categories. And I run that, and I can see there's a subset or a dyna set showing me all the different films and the different film IDs. I can see that there's 10 all there together in the actual navigation bar down at the bottom. But what I'd like to do when I'm running an aggregate query is I get that answer 10 up here in just one single cell. So going back into the design view, the way that I turn on the aggregate queries is all through in the design tab, this totals button here. And when I click on totals, you'll see down in this area that a whole new row crops up. And it's called total. And I can say that I want to drop this menu down in the film ID. I've got a lot of different options. The example that I'm going to use is I just want to count the number of films. But you can see there's lots of other different examples there, like sum. You can get the average, the min, the max, and then other more kind of statistical type of operations like standard deviation and variance and so on. So I'll flick this to count. Just flicking that to count isn't probably enough. If I run that query, you'll see what happens. I get just the actual category name Western, and I get the count of it. But it may be necessary to actually check off this other fields, or some of the other fields that you have associated with this aggregate query. Uh, it may be more reliable. But there I have it. I just get one single cell giving me the overall count of the number of films that are associated with a particular category. Like this video if you found it useful.